massive! <laughs> there are windmills as far as the eye can see. Take wow. a look. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Good morning! Welcome to our Odyssey! We are in the Netherlands! Woo! <laughs> New country! <laughs> Today we are heading over to the Beesbosch National Park. It's basically a giant sort of wetland area, sort of resembles a bit like a mangrove swamp type vibe. Another really cool thing what we're hoping to see there today is beavers! There's apparently a big population of beavers so we will go there, check the area out and hopefully find them, see them, film them, enjoy them! <laughs> so we're gonna head over to the visitor center now and uh, find out what we can do in the park! Exactly! Let's go! <laughs> Look, the National Park Centre has grass on its roof. That's cool. So according to this, this is the largest freshwater tidal zone in Europe. In some parts of the Beesbosch, the tidal range can be up to 80 centimetres. There are two major rivers that come into this area, the Rhine and the Meuse. And this, combined with the tidal zone, is what creates this huge area of fresh water. This tidal ebb and flow between fresh water and salt water is what creates this unique landscape with this unique flora and fauna in this area. <laughs> Well, they're actually really big. Wow. There's another beaver. Wow. Are they actually are they actually that big? <laughs> they are incredible. Look at their feet. Look. Wow. And their tail. Wow. And then here a skeleton. Wow. Okay. So we went to the the visitor center and they said that the canoe rental is from 9 until 11 and it was already half past nine so we're quickly just getting the canoe and putting it in the water so that we can have a little canoe around this park <laughs> exciting <laughs> and they, they also told us that um, that the beavers are actually nocturnal animals oh. which we didn't really look up before um, so the chances are we probably won't see a beaver but um, we can still explore these really nice waterways and hope that it doesn't rain. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get this boat in the water. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh yeah. Woo! Now we're rocking and rolling. <laughs>
to avoid the trees. <laughs> Ollie's working hard to keep us straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very, very nice and peaceful actually. The sun is out, the water is really nice and quiet. You know, it's, it's super beautiful here. We could see already a lot of big birds actually and a lot of small birds as well. I always enjoy these really peaceful waterways. Nature just left to do as it wants. And we can just be temporary guests, just gliding through. It's really, really peaceful. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, so far it's very nice. Even though I'm a little bit sad that the beavers are sleeping, but <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> This reminds me of the good old days canoeing on the Wanganui River for 10 days in New Zealand during our 3,000 kilometer traversing of the country. Yeah, it was just us in the canoe on that river for 10 days. It was beautiful. If you head over to New Zealand, you should really consider taking a canoe down the Wanganui River. It is really spectacular, spectacular landscape. I'm not quite sure, but I think this is a beaver hive here. It looks like there's a lot of debris been put there, so we would imagine that the beavers have put it there, but we can't be sure. We're just arriving back. I would like to go another round, but <laughs> there's like a two hour limit. Yeah, you rent a canoe and then you have two hours to explore the area and then you have to come back for the next group. <laughs> oh my God, can you believe it? We just come off the canoe and just put it back <laughs> and it just started raining like crazy. Oh my God. We're running now back to the car. This seems to always happen to us. Just after we've finished all of our filming and all of our visiting, then the rain comes. Yes! <laughs> we made it! Still dry. <laughs> So it is now 6.15 p.m. and uh, we're leaving the Biesbosch National Park. We stuck around to just have a chill out and uh, do a bit of editing whilst we were there. And also they had the best, best shower I've ever seen in my life, I think. It was so nice. So we both had a shower. <laughs> yeah, that was such a surprise to see a shower yes. there. We were just at the toilets of the National Park and then one of the cubicles was like shower and we tested the water. And yes. It was warm and we were like, oh my God, we have to use this. <laughs> so now we are heading over to another place um, this evening. We purposely waited until uh, a bit later on this evening to go here. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a really, really unique and special place. It's really quintessentially Netherlands. It's called Kinderdijk and it's about a 10 minute drive away. So we just had a really nice dinner at the van beautiful curry with some homemade flatbread. Yummy. Thanks to Lavi. <laughs> Yummy. 
we parked up the van in this town here. It's uh, called Alblasa Dam and it's about four kilometers away from Kinderdijk down this pathway here. So maybe like a 45 minute walk and then we'll be over there. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, they're massive. <laughs> there are windmills as far as the eye can see. Take wow. a look. This is why this place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and this is why it's so special. This is a beautiful walkway for the evening, nice. surrounded by these beautiful windmills. Awesome. That's nice. So cool that there's actually still a bunch of people that still live in these windmills they're actually houses as well so there's people in this world that get to call this place home <laughs> how crazy is that yeah and this is a really beautiful time to come here in the evening at sunset the colors the ambience is just so quaint and uh, so beautiful So the sun is setting on Kinderdijk and uh, it's been a really, really beautiful walk through the windmills. It's crazy to think that they're all still actually in use to uh, pump water out of the fields. They're not just for beauty, they're also for function. <laughs> We're actually pretty much on our own here. Not too many people around. It's very, very romantic and nice. Very beautiful. The time to travel is now! <laughs> <laughs> and these windmills, some of them are around 200 years old. So there's a lot of history in this area. We've been told by some locals, there are windmills all over Netherlands, but you know, what's special about this place is just how many there are here. It just, the whole place surrounded, absolutely magical. <laughs> So it looks like we'll be going back to the van in the dark because the sun is nearly, nearly set. But we just 
couldn't leave this place because it's just so full of beauty and it just looks better and better every moment as the light is going down and down. Incredible. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's time for us to leave now. We have to go back to our little beautiful home, Red Tornado. Yeah, it's going to be nearly pitch black by the time we get back. <laughs> we really hope that you enjoyed the episode. If so, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> good night. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time.